Well, we have shown how to calculate an inverse matrix by considering a system of uh, linear equations. But on the other hand, if we know an inverse matrix, then we can use it to solve uh, a system of linear equations as well. So now suppose A is an inverse, has an inverse matrix, with an invertible matrix, not an inverse, but an invertible matrix, and B is a vector in Rn. And if we look at the system Ax is B, then we may multiply on the left hand side by the inverse of the matrix A. Yeah, left and right, so we have A inverse Ax is A inverse B, but A inverse A is no more than the identity matrix A equals A inverse B. And our identity matrix times a vector x is no more than a vector x, so we know that the vector x is given by the product of A inverse with B. So for example, consider the following very small system, a 2 by 2 system. Yeah, 3x1 plus 5x2 equals minus 1. And x1 plus 2x2 equals 4. Now we want to solve these equations simultaneously. So we have a coefficient matrix 3, 5, 1, 2. And we know that the inverse is easy calculated by 1 over the determinant of the matrix A, which is 1, and we get A inverse is 2 minus 5 minus 1, 3. So x solves A times x is minus 1, 4, so we derive x from multiplying the inverse of the matrix A times minus 1, 4, so 2 minus 5 minus 1, 3 times minus 1, 4, which equals minus 22, 13. Again, we will solve a system of uh, linear equations using the inverse of the coefficient matrix. And is is a little bit more challenging than, uh, than a 2 by 2 system. So now we have the coefficient matrix 2, 3, minus 1, 1, 2, 1, minus 1, minus 1, 3. And its coefficient matrix times the solution x should be 1, minus 2, 3. So now we derive the inverse of this 3 by 3 matrix. So we write down the coefficient matrix. We have the matrix which is here. And on the right hand side we plug in the 3 times 3 identity matrix. And now we strive for the row reduced or the, the reduced row echelon form of this matrix. So first of all we're going to clean up in the first row. We appoint this element 1 here as, as pivot. Then we clean up a 2 and a minus 1 here, which can be done by the following operations. We subtract 2 times row 2 from row 1, and we add row three, uh, row 2 to row 3. And we get two zeros. And the same operations are carry out, carried out on the matrix on the right of the blue line. So the only element that is changing here is minus 2, and we get here plus 1. Well, we're not finished red yet, so... I'm going to make a new pivot here on the first line on the first row by multiplying it by minus 1 and we create zeros here and here. 
So we get 0, 1, 3, 1, 0, minus 5, and 0, 0, 1. And we carry out the same operations here on the right hand side on this matrix. So, so the first row changes sign, minus 1, 2, 0, and the other ones change accordingly to these steps. So we're almost done. Now we aim at a of creating a pivot here, so we have to clean up this minus 5 and 3. So now we obtain a matrix with three pivots. minus 4, 5, minus 3, 7, minus 8, 5, 1, minus 1, 1. So we have to return this one in reduced row echelon form. So we have to change, interchange a couple of rows. So row 1 has to be interchanged with row 2 and then we're done. Because then we get the identity matrix on the left hand side on the left of the blue line. So we have three pivots now. So we're done. And on the right hand side we get a matrix 7 minus 8, 5, minus 4, 5, minus 3, and 1 minus 1, 1. From which we may conclude that the inverse is given by the part here on the right, which is 7 minus 8, 5, minus 4, 4, 5, minus 3, 1, minus 1, 1. So now we use this matrix to calculate the solution of this, uh, of the equation over here. So we multiply, in order to obtain x, we need to multiply the inverse times 1, minus 2, 3, and we obtain 38, minus 23, and six if you carry out the operations.